Before we get into this video, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment on our mom's YouTube channel, Sunflower Essay. Okay, we're now going into the cheetah territory inside the park. So what? It's a pet. Yes, it's a small. Don't pet. see it. Right there at the back there. Okay. Yes, and also they like to be alone like this one here. So they are quite happy if they are alone like this or there she comes uh, in front of us now. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> So they are one of the good uh, jumpers, they can jump uh, from mm -hmm. 0 up to 3 meters high, uh, jumping, mm -hmm. catching a bird. Mm -hmm. And also they are good climbers, they could climb and just escape much easier. As you could see, it's fully enclosed compared to the enclosures of cheetahs. Mm -hmm. So Caracas guys, uh, they don't have any cases where they will attack humans. Unless if you normally uh, put them on a corner or in a bad position, mm -hmm. they will attack you without mm -hmm. hesitating. Mm -hmm. Or if they feel that they are young ones, are being endangered. That's where they will attack you without hesitating. Hi. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. This is their house. And the one on that side, those two. Yes. It's big one, so, eh? guys, <laughs> mm, the so first cool. one are the lapid face vultures. They're endangered. Uh, the reason they're endangered will just group everything with those ones because it's the same thing that kills them. Mm. So these ones will normally take care of the young ones, they lay one egg uh, and also assist one another. They are one of the biggest vultures compared to any other vultures. So they are aggressive uh, we have given them a name as the can openers of the bush fell. The reason they are called that is because they are strong as big. It allows them to open up any thick carcasses. When we talk about thick carcasses, it's an elephant, a carcass, a dead a rhino, and a dead hippos. Okay. Uh, these ones are the Egyptian vultures. Mm -hmm. They are one of the smallest vultures compared to any other vulture we have here. So the reason we kept them here, they are originally extinct, meaning that they are no longer available in South Africa unless if you see them here in these enclosures. So these ones, guys, are the Cape Griffon vultures. So they are endemic to Southern Africa, meaning that they naturally occur here in South Africa, Lesotho, Botswana, and other southern uh, parts of the African continent. Yeah. Sure. It's a boat. because females are the strongest ones mm -hmm. the reason they are strongest one they have uh, three times more mm -hmm. testosterone mm -hmm. in them compared to males which only has one yeah so we'll give them chickens uh, it's, it's dead chickens <laughs> we'll just throw them once we've talked about them so as you could see she's the dominant leader of these two amongst them uh, the male is just the rated below compared to him <laughs> uh, because the female <laughs> uh, is the whole <laughs> It's still alive. Oh, that's lunch. Oh, that's your lunch. And then it takes the food and goes. Yeah, yeah, it runs away. Food. Yes, it's looking for food. Wild dog. We know that people can't eat for food. 
So guys, uh, we have two females. Uh, these ones are not a breeding, so we just kept them here. We'll normally feed them, then we'll proceed to the enclosure. We'll get inside of five of them. So we'll share the enclosure, we'll also uh, feed them. These are the African wild dogs. Uh, they are known as painted dogs, their other name, or lycoon pictures, it's a scientific name. So they are critically endangered. We have 450 left of them here in South Africa. They get to take food for one another. So they will normally take food by a rabbit. We are still traveling in the off-road, still inside the park, and we'll see. Hopefully, we will see a lot of cheetahs here. Let's proceed. Look at the road here, ne? Very gravel, ne? Off-road, eh? Am I right? It's like, you feel like we are going inside the jungle, right? Just like our the other park, Kruger one. But nice weather, right? Eh? Very good weather. Here also the female is the strong one. It's the strongest male and the female that will be leaders of the pair. <laughs> We are now going into the cheetah run. The gates are going to open and you can see how the cheetahs are running along with us. There they want, they want here, here one. So now we are going to see a lot of cheetahs. Look here. Ooh, voila. Yeah, you come, you'll get your food. <laughs> The cheetah camp. Oh, the other one is coming from far. The one is coming. They say of family. Ah, they the family has come. <laughs> but not enough your children, you know. Nobody knows, eh? It's the food. Looking for food. Yeah. This one. This one. So guys, uh, cheetahs run at the maximum speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Uh, they will normally uh, run up to 30 seconds, uh, covering a distance of 4 to 450 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we'll normally feed them and we'll talk about them while they are still eating and I will, I will ask you all some tricky questions uh, once we're done talking about cheetahs but on the last part of the enclosure mm -hmm. okay. so this one is the son of that one that's a mother mm -hmm. this is the son the reason is so big it's because of the coat chain mm -hmm. uh, if you look closer in their faces they have these lines here those mm -hmm. ones are known as TMX mm -hmm. they're, they're more like sunglasses 
they prevent the sun from shining into their eyes and mm. allow them to spot their prey within a distance of uh, four to five kilometers away. Yeah. So as you could see, uh, in the wild, uh, females will be hunting more rapidly compared to the males, mm. mainly because they have to provide for the younger mm. ones. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. So they have non retractable claws. Their claws here are always exposed on the outside. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are always exposed on the oh. outside like those. We are going to feed heads. now for yeah. those ones. Look at there. You fighting. But we used to see four and five and all, eh? Yes, yes, we yeah. normally introduce only these two now. So we have another one, uh, two of them. It says three, so one of them got sick. Mm -hmm. So whenever one of them gets sick, we separate them so that they won't spread that type of disease until mm -hmm. you know what's uh, bothering the first ones. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's why you see only these two parts. Uh, we will be introducing more of them because we have another site where we'll put uh, oh. four to five of them in okay. the whole. Yeah. Okay. Still on the off road, it's the hot spot for the cheetahs. And we'll see. Yeah, sure. But it's fully fenced on either side, eh? One side. One side is fenced, yeah. So guys, uh, we have a breeding program for cheetahs here at the center. Mm -hmm. So how we breed, back in the days, they will normally take a female in the male and change the male in the male. But uh, it didn't work out very well since the females were more aggressive. Mm -hmm. So if we normally breed the cheetahs, we take a male and let it walk down an alleyway with four female enclosures. If it walks down, we monitor the behavior of the females. Once they come to the male, and roll down and make a chuckle sound. We open up the gate, let mm. the male inside that uh, female enclosure. Mm. Then they will start to mate. We will monitor them whether are they successful in mating or not. Mm. Uh, they will breed uh, for a period of a week. After a week, we will remove the male and wait for a gestation period of 95 days, whereby a litter uh, of one up to six cubs will be. Mm. Yeah. So we release cheetahs back in the wild. So when we relocate cheetahs, we normally form temporary enclosures. Mm. Then we will place a live until up inside there, just to determine whether they will be able to hunt and kill that food. Yes. If they are successful yeah, in yeah, killing the food, food, then we will know that they are ready drop, to be released back into the live. Mm. Then we just put some collars and release them. Mm. That's how we normally do the breeding and the yeah. ritual. Mm. <laughs> we now finish with the yes. cheetah. So guys, uh, this is the safari. We went to see the cheetah game park. 
so we have done the cheetah run hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog we'll meet you in the next vlog until then it's bye from sunflower essay